I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Welcome. Mr. Olson, I, what first, do you have? Uh, first, I just want to I just want to make an apology for the last few meetings when I had my warm been wearing the hat. I've neglected to take it off at the Pledge of Allegiance, um, and I appreciate Leon um, letting me know somebody expressed that to him, and he let me know. So I do apologize for that. Um, just a lapse of, of judgment. Judgment, whatever. I was just being an idiot. I didn't even didn't even acknowledge the fact I had it on when I was doing it. So I do apologize to everybody. Um, that being said, uh, we're going to review the, the meeting minutes from April 18th. Having hits first, though. Make oh, motion. that's right. Sorry, the department heads. <coughs> Go ahead, Mr. Dillard. Just saying, Mr. Chairman. Well, today was day one of our hybrid flushings. We're going to keep flushing them on and off throughout the whole month of May. Get that done. I uh, had a meeting with DOT in regards to their paving schedule. That guy did not get back to me yet. Regards to from from Pike, yeah. So uh, they be paving all of Main Street, Mr. Mill and Phil. So we got some manhole work to do there. Tim Brown and his guys will help us do that, which is appreciated. Uh, we got some area work that we're working on, and uh, all that right now. We've been doing a lot of cleanup, of course, like everybody is. Thanks, Tim. Okay. Same. We've got spring cleanup. We should be done that this week. He's in up, and next week we're going to try to get the crosswalks painted. Looks like a couple good days coming. Yeah. Getting the roads graded up finally, and we'll move on to some construction projects. We've got stuff we do for the water department. We get the wall to do for PD. Mm -hmm. All right, that'll be done in a few days. Question on the side, on the crosswalks, just because the state been crabbing about them. We're going to try to angle them so they so, go sidewalk to sidewalk. Yeah, so I, I was going to, I can bring it up now. Um, it was on the agenda. So as far as the Main Street paving, I did talk to that guy, and I can give you his contact, or I can have him try to get it. Oh, you do okay. Yeah. Um, they're not planning to be in town to pave until mid-August. Mid so. Because originally, if they were coming, I kind of drew the line at the middle of July as to whether we were going to paint or not. Right. Whether they come in mid-August or later, the townspeople will not be happy if we do not paint. I was just, like I said, just kind of wondering if they were going to angle it so they hit the sidewalk, because that seemed to be one of their complaints. Yeah, was. yeah so, so what, what I had done, I, I responded to all of their, their issues with our crosswalks, um, telling them ones that we would, you know, where we were willing to eliminate some, relocate some, um, as well as where we were, we were comfortable placing, having those RRFDs. Those yep. lights um, placed yeah, no way. Um, on our time schedule. I mean, obviously, when, when we had the time and money to do it. Um, so basically, uh, uh, Tim Brown and, and Chief Tim Charbonneau, Police Chief, walked Main Street, and we what I had re responded to them after me walking Main Street with them was the crosswalk just on the other side of the bridge. We would eliminate that one. Um, I did say that the. The, the crosswalk that basically goes, that's the, the first one that goes kind of alley entrance to alley entrance by the Rialto. Yep. Said that we're fine with, with relocating that. And all the stuff they had said that they would put in as part of their, their project, all this work that had to be done to, to facilitate that. So we would move that, shift it one way or the other just to make it go from, from sidewalk to sidewalk. Um, so that was one. The one by where Lancaster House of Pizza used to be said that we would eliminate that one because that was a recommendation that we eliminate that. We didn't necessarily need that one. Um, they wanted the one on the north side of Bunker Hill to be moved to the other, to the south side of Bunker Hill to eliminate the right turn, cars turning right, right into the, the crosswalk. Because, I mean, everybody knows if you're looking left before you turn right, if you turn right into the crosswalk, you might have somebody there. So our solution to that, um, to, to, help facilitate that with, with as least disturbance as possible was to direct, was to move that side, um, that side of the road, the, the noise building side of the road um, entrance onto the, the um, other side of Bunker Hill and have it diagonally cross. 
um, where where it ed, where it exits now by the old Sullivan's drugstore building. Um, Some of that was due to if you did run it straight across, you would have lost a lot of parking. Right. So, yeah. Uh, that was going to make question. So we changed all this parking configuration a couple of years ago. That'll all be changed again. No, not necessarily. Let me, let me finish. Okay. Um, then we go down the high street. The one we, we said we would. Um, they recommended we eliminate or relocate some of the ones between High Street and Depot Street. Um, we said we would eliminate the one um, on the north end of north side of High Street by the post office. We wanted to keep the one by Centennial Park because that is very well used quite often, especially in the summertime. And then they recommended the one by um, the Catholic Church be eliminated. So we agreed and said that's fine. If it, that's what you say, we'll eliminate that one because they say it's not it's not used um, often. Then you get down to north north of um, Depot Street. That's the Scorpios crosswalk and the Bailey's crosswalk where, that goes by Bailey's uh, funeral home. Um, the only thing with the Scorpios one was more lighting and and the RFB. Um, did say we would keep that and we would we would start working on a plan to put in better lighting and the RFBs at, at a future date. The one by Bailey's, they wanted that one to, because um, that kind of goes from a driveway entrance to a driveway entrance. Right. And we said we would, we were fine with having that shifted to go from sidewalk to sidewalk. And again, they would, they would make that part of their project. They would, they would do the work to, to oh, create that little, little, um, basically, New crop, new sidewalk to the road, yeah. um, and put up an RFB and better lighting as well. And I again said we, you know, we'll we'll start planning projects in the future to do that. So the reply back was um, to that was the, the crosswalk north of Bunker Hill Street. Um, they don't like the idea of it being a diagonal crosswalk because it puts you in, in the flow of traffic a lot longer, and then uh, visually impaired people typically you're used to crosswalks going straight across, not diagonal, which that makes sense. So they said, due to that, um, we're fine with it staying where it is. So we don't have to move that one. Um, the one, location two and three. So the, the, the two that are between Middle Street and Bunker Hill, that, that would go from basically alley entrance to alley entrance, they said because that would require an awful lot of work because remember on the what side of the on the east side of Main Street, they there's two steps to get up to the sidewalk. So right. that's an awful yeah. lot of curbing to remove. You gotta you gotta create a slope so it goes down from the sidewalk to the crosswalk. Um, they said that they don't have the, the necessary means or or plans to make those improvements to to do that work. So they said they're fine with those staying where they are right now. So it's okay. And then as far as the other two by uh, Scorpios and Bailey's, they're fine with the um, with our plans to um, do the RFVs at a later date. And they will do the work by the, the Bailey Funeral Home one to, to facilitate um, the sidewalk to sidewalk transition. So basically, basically your sidewalk so it don't cost us any money. Right, so basically there's not an awful lot of change we're gonna have to do um, if we do eliminate some, If I mean, what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna paint the ones we've got now as they are, um, I and then we'll wait and see what what they actually do do as part of the paving project, and then we'll respond based on that. Because if they don't, let's just say the one by um, on the other side of the bridge by the, the old National Bank building, if they don't replace the curbing and they don't pull up one of the tactile warning devices, um, and they're gonna leave that up to us to do it. We might not end up doing that because that means um, <coughs> replacing a whole new sidewalk panel um, and curbing as well. So um, there'll be some follow up with them, but we'll just wait and see what they end up actually doing. Okay. So that eliminates that agenda item. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just seemed to fit. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, was there anything else there? No, that's it. Man. The ten, the ten million was in. The ten million was in. That was a smooth transaction, just as it was said and done. Still waiting for body and. The body will be here, the middle of May. This truck is scheduled to go in the first of June to get a permit. It's supposed to take two weeks. So we should have that truck back the second week of June, complete. Good deal. Thanks, Tim. Brian. Um. 
see, this past week we've shipped out about 55,000 pounds of recycling. Next week we're planning on shipping out another 85,000 pounds. That'll get us pretty much caught up for now. Um, besides that, we've just been slammed with brush and construction and demolition debris has started to pick it up quite a bit with, there's been a couple of um, uh, garage demo, uh, being demolished in town and just a lot of renovations going on in town so we've been slammed. So that's about it. And now the minutes of April 18th. Move to accept the minutes of April 18th, 2022 meeting. I'll second the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. The ayes have it. All right. total amount of $3,914.33. Uh, Cheryl and Ben McKillop, R11, Lot 24, total timber tax of $1,831.59. And then Peter and Jody Gray, R10, Lot 2, $2,082.74. Um, there'll be three places for you guys to sign the front page and then two yellow tab places. But he's neat. That's what happens when you come to register deeds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Thought it was 
get him serious, he moved his glasses onto the top of his head. Well, so. I've got to go have an eye doctor appointment in June, but it's <laughs> getting worse, worse. I've got to, I can see better without them. <laughs> that means bifocals. Oh yeah, they're coming. And then that means you just can't see crap anyway. No, you're going to have to learn all over again. <laughs> yeah. Focus using that little laptop now. You know? Yeah, it'll get you out of focus. It will. I found a way to blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> you hit that button over here enough times. <laughs> This one is for Rolling Dog Farm. It's for laying off of North Road. They're, basically, they're actually just adding one acre to what's already in current use. They right now have 101.41 acres in current use. There was one acre that had been taken out in the past because there was a gravel pit that was really never utilized or not to any extent. Um, so that acre is now going into current use because it's, it qualifies and it's recommended. Okay. Um, so it goes from 101.41 to 102.41. <coughs> and again, same place. Same place. Please. And thank you. Tax exemptions. We have an elderly tax exemption for Elizabeth Kitt, who attends Star King Park. <coughs> she does meet the qualifications based on age. She's over the uh, minimum of 65, and the income um, she doesn't make is it? She doesn't make more than 18,000 a year based on her, her proof of income. And you guys can sign on the second page. It's tab yellow. I have four orange. I'm sorry. Mix it up. Confuse me. Okay. I'm not colorblind. <laughs> That's true. Oh, the tractor trailer is trying to turn at the bottom of the park. To in go between, west? In between the pole? Yeah. yeah. He's trying to go west? Oh, yeah. And he's, the a, trailer? he's a, he's he's a west long, and he wants to go long south. bat and then a trailer. Oh my gosh. Kudos yeah. to you, buddy. <laughs> 
<laughs> so everybody at home couldn't see it. Sorry. <laughs> Get that camera over there. Um, <laughs> last one. Uh, sorry about that interruption. Uh, <laughs> veterans exemption for Casey Henry, uh, 32 Second Street. Uh, he does qualify per RSA 7228VF or 5F, Roman numeral V, American numeral F. building permits or land use permits. Uh, one for Derek Champagne of 193 Prospect Street. He's removing a deck on the side of the house and putting in a, um, it's a removing 8 by 14 deck, replacing with a 10 by 18 mudroom um, with radiant heat on four footers. Meet setbacks, zone agricultural. Mo Ingerson, 26 Summer Street, renovation of existing home to include, include re-roofing, re-siding, replace plaster paint, interior mechanical upgrades. Um, either repair or remove front porch. Um, it's no, no change to the existing footprint, so setbacks aren't applicable. Leah Hart, 150 Pleasant Valley Road. Uh, she is constructing a two bedroom, one and a half bath, uh, stick built single family home with attached mudroom on full foundation. Uh, meets all setback requirements. And the last thing I have is uh, tomorrow, um, the, the, this mural project that we've been talking about since the fall, or maybe since even last, last summer, fall. Uh, there's going to be another public meeting of Charette at the Rialto at 6.30. Um, and that is just again to get, gather some input from the community about what they feel the past, present, and future of Lancaster is that can then be incorporated into the mural um, that is planned as of now to go on the side of the, the uh, Lancaster Motor on the on the park, municipal parking lot side. And then uh, and that's it. That's all she wrote? That's it. Okay. Anything from the public? No? Pretty quiet? Okay. Anything else from the board? I'm good. I'm good. Motion? Make motion. A motion. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 The ayes have it.